Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture we are discussing what is the Cardano blockchain. The Cardano blockchain is an open source proof of stake blockchain project. It's open source meaning it is free and continuously being developed by the community. It uses the proof of stake consensus mechanism for how it decides what gets added to the blockchain and how blocks are encrypted as well as how we can sync up the nodes. The project began in 2015 with a lot of research and finally it has been made into a hands-on software project. The Cardano blockchain was designed to address existing blockchain challenges in the design and development of cryptocurrencies. The goals of Cardano were to provide a more balanced and sustainable ecosystem that accounts for the needs of users and other systems seeking blockchain integration. Cardano uses patent-free protocols to store, transform, and manage value, identity, and governance. Let's discuss Bitcoin versus Ethereum versus Cardano. The Bitcoin blockchain was the first generation of blockchains created back in 2008. Bitcoin offered decentralized ledgers for secure cryptocurrency transfer and is still the biggest blockchain being used. However, the Bitcoin blockchain did not provide a functional environment for complex deal set settlement or for building decentralized software like dApps. There was no way to take a piece of software and connect it to the blockchain. Then came the Ethereum blockchain, which did allow for building software that can connect to the blockchain. Ethereum is the most popular blockchain for smart contracts or decentralized applications and autonomous code that can interact and live on the blockchain. Ethereum provided more enhanced solutions with its smart contracts, which are self-executing pieces of code. That means the user can trust the contract living on the blockchain to execute autonomously. With Ethereum, you can build decentralized applications and create different token types. However, Ethereum is not perfect as is no blockchain. It does have issues such as issues with scaling. Cardano is a third generation blockchain. It was designed to combine the properties of previous generations and evolve to meet needs and improve upon problems and solve issues. So it's an improvement on Bitcoin and Ethereum. Join me coming up next. We're going to discuss what can you do, what projects can you build with Cardano. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. In this lecture, we are discussing what can you do with the Cardano blockchain. On Cardano, you can send and receive native tokens. This is ADA coin on Cardano. Just like the Bitcoin cryptocurrency is the native coin on the Bitcoin blockchain, and the ETH cryptocurrency is the native coin currency on the Ethereum blockchain. On Cardano, you can delegate your ADA and earn rewards. You can also vote with your ADA on decisions and in decentralized autonomous organizations and earn rewards. You can participate in Cardano improvement protocols to vote on and suggest improvements, and you can interact and build smart contracts. So just like on Ethereum, you can build smart contracts on Cardano in order to have self-executing pieces of code that live on the blockchain that anyone can interact with. As well with Cardano, you can integrate the blockchain into existing websites and services. You can build dApps that interact with the Cardano blockchain and Cardano wallets and ADA cryptocurrency. On Cardano, you can issue native tokens and NFTs. You can issue fungible tokens or coins as well as non-fungible tokens. You can prove the existence of a file at a specific point in time with Cardano's transaction metadata. You can validate and verify external physical products and genuine articles. You can set up, manage, and maintain a stake pool, and you can build smart contracts. Let's talk about some of the features of Cardano. What makes a good blockchain in general? A blockchain should have high security. It should be tamper-proof and avoid and prevent hacks as much as possible. As well, a good blockchain should be scalable. It should be able to handle its number of transactions should they increase. The blockchain should have and be able to handle the transaction throughput and scale with data 
as well as network bandwidth. A good blockchain should have good functionality. It should enable transaction processing and all means of business deals. A good blockchain should be sustainable. It should be able to be improved and work in the future. And it should be constantly improving. There should be a strong community and developers who are working on the blockchain. As well, a good blockchain should be interoperable with other blockchains and financial institutions, software, and other companies across different industries. Cardano meets these requirements and has a lot of benefits to use. For example, Cardano is scalable. The ledger can process many transactions without affecting performance. So even if Cardano gets a flood of transactions or the transaction numbers and popularity increase, Cardano can handle that increase of scale. As well, Cardano has higher bandwidth capabilities than other blockchains. Cardano is interoperable. It is the most multifunctional environment for financial, business, or commercial operations. Cardano enables users to interact with multiple currencies across various blockchains. Cardano is sustainable. The community has a role in development. You can vote and suggest changes as well as build changes. There is a treasury that is refilled from minted coins, stake pool rewards, and transaction fees to fund the development. Cardano has better infrastructure to build products than other blockchains. Cardano is faster, more secure, and cost-effective. There is accurate cost predictability for transactions and no auctions for transaction fees, which is unique to Cardano. As well, there's a venture fund, so you can get your project funded potentially by the Cardano Venture Fund. Cardano uses the proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, or consensus protocol, which means it uses less energy and computational power than other blockchains using something like proof-of-work in its consensus mechanism, which is how blocks get added and transactions get processed. Cardano was built with high assurance formal development methods and peer-reviewed papers. It started off as a research project and then went into software Cardano has a large community for support and questions. If you have any problems, the leading platforms for support are Stack Exchange and the Cardano Forum. As well, there is the Cardano Discord, Reddit, t.me, IOG, as well as for Hasco Marlowe for programming and the developer portal and meetings for proposing new ideas. So there's a huge Cardano community. Join me coming up next, we're going to discuss what are native tokens on the Cardano blockchain. Hello everyone and welcome back to our course. In this lecture, we are discussing what are native tokens or native assets on the Cardano blockchain. Cardano has the unique ability to create, interact with, and delete tokens or assets natively. Natively means you can interact with custom assets right out of the box without smart contracts. Native assets are treated almost like ADA, the native coin of the Cardano blockchain. A fee must always be paid when you're issuing a transaction or sending something on the Cardano blockchain. For example, to send a token, you must include at least one ADA in the transaction. Some characteristics of the native token, the characteristics that one token will contain, are first its amount or value, its name, which can be shared with other tokens, and its unique policy ID, which cannot be shared with any other native token. You can also attach metadata with each transaction that you sign on the Cardano blockchain. And that's an overview of native tokens. Join me coming up next. We're going to get into our prerequisites and then jump into interacting with the Cardano blockchain from our computer. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.